Could it really be that Prince Harry is coming back to the UK? And what is it that Meghan Markle is reportedly so worried sick over? And what is the one thing that reportedly Prince Harry is not doing that could rekindle his relationship with his family? All that and more in the news in this video because we're here on Black Belt Secrets and at this point I would ordinarily roll an intro because it feels appropriate but I haven't made one specifically for Black Belt Secrets yet so if there's anyone in the comments who can do a great intro I'd love to hear from you and you'll otherwise have to pretend that I did a great intro and asked you to subscribe so consider that the intro asking you to subscribe and now let's get into the video so I see a lot of different things in the headlines about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle they just don't seem to disappear from the head lines and I know some people don't like me to talk about gossipy type stuff but that's why we run Black Belt Secrets so do make the distinction between that and Black Belt Barrister because that is mainly talking about the law and here I give you my opinions and I do venture into gossip land now and again because I find it quite entertaining. So let's take a look at some of these headlines shall we and these articles here and so Here's the biggest one, first of all. So this released, what day are we? Yesterday. Donald Trump uh, previously, according to the Express, has hinted that he'll be prepared to revoke Prince Harry's visa if he, win, visa if he wins the upcoming US election. Now, this all of which coming about because of the previous arguments about, you know, did he tell the truth or did he lie on his application when he moved to the United States about his uh, previous... Uh, usage of certain things that I won't say to freak out the algorithms. But all of that, a very real valid question. And if he's found to have been dishonest in any of that, then the, the question should then be brought up as to whether he should be removed, right? But if he was honest about it all, then the same question of why, why would he be allowed to stay? And so this uh, hinting that uh, Donald Trump may be um, kicking him out. And that is indeed what reportedly, according to a source close to the Sussexes, which, as you may know from our legal discussions, a source close to is either literally someone in the same household or working for them, or maybe even the person themselves. The source close to could be the person themselves. Not saying it is, I mean, it could be. It could be one of them speaking to someone. I mean, I would expect that they'll have contacts at various places, including the Express. Someone has said that uh, Meghan, well, both of them really, are said to be worried sick about being kicked out of their new home in the United States if Donald Trump becomes the president because He's previously hinted that if he wins, then that might be um, the end of their time in the United States, or at least his time, and that would raise the question as to whether she would follow. I'm not entirely convinced she would, personally, but I would think um, that if he comes here, then that's obviously going to be a discussion that they need to have. Moving on. The Mirror, now we're in with all the, all the mags, uh, these days, Prince Harry told that the thing he's failing to do. But let's move to actually this one first, because moving on to on from the likelihood of him uh, being thrown out of the United States if Donald Trump is elected president uh, again, uh, as hinted that he might consider doing so again, reportedly, uh, Meghan is, has a major condition if she's to return to the UK. Now, this sort of ties in with a lot of the other court cases that are going on, in my opinion, because if you have been paying attention to the headlines recently, Harry is back in court, um, or at least his case is back in court again and again, talking about his security. Now, the latest developments in that, I did a video on Black Belt Barrister where he's narrowly won the um, right to, not the right, the permission to appeal the original decision against his default security. If you remember, Ravik decided that he's not going to get the standard round-the-clock armed police protection, I assume it's armed police protection, uh, at the taxpayer's expense, and instead they're going to put in a, a bespoke provision and they'll do that on an ad hoc basis. And so they'll decide on an ongoing basis what sort of security he should get. And so that now has uh, been given narrow permission to appeal on one very narrow ground. The judge was reluctant to do so. If you want to hear more about that, 
in proper sort of legal analysis, I'll link that video below. But I think all of this is spurred off all of that. So the discussion uh, about whether she's got a major condition, as it's reported here, uh, to come back to the UK is, first of all, somewhere to live uh, and also the security aspect. So it says here, speaking exclusively to the Mirror Royal author and expert Tom Quinn revealed that uh, she said that she's only prepared to return to England if she and Harry have a place of their own and security that they both feel is essential. Now, I think the security is essential, not just because of who they are, but because of what, a lot of what they've said, quite frankly. I think there's a lot of people that are dead set against them because of things they've said to the media, because of how they've tarnished the royal family's reputation. And so I think they haven't done it themselves any favours there at all. That's just my opinion. It says here, if the couple manage to find a permanent home and sort out the security issue, they'll certainly want to bring the children to the UK and it's going to take a lot of diplomacy to get to the point where Archie and Lily are able to develop genuine and warm relationship with their cousins, George, Charlotte and Louis. And so, again, it refers to the Court of Appeal case here where he's um, won permission to take this to appeal and he's hoping to get the level of protection he says that he needs. So that is a major condition. So all of this hinging on, and that's possibly why he's fighting this case so hard, is because he feels that he needs to get the security that he wants in case he's uh, left with no choice but to leave the United States. And then there's obviously the relationship with the entire family. And so um, reportedly here... He's told that he's that Prince Harry has always had one aim over the years and of complaining about his life and different things and has failed to see the one thing that he could do with Prince William and King Charles to achieve that, uh, Royal Expert says here. And so Royal Expert, again, Tom Quinn, uh, says over the years he's complained about his treatment by the royal family and he's just one aim. That aim is to get an apology and... He says here that he can't seem to see that complaining in private as opposed to in public for the whole world to see, according to Tom Quinn in this article here, it says he just can't seem to see that complaining in private might work. And also, by extension, that complaining in public is making things worse. Now, I've always said I, I don't like him or dislike him as such. I report and I comment, I opine on what I see, on what I read, and on behaviour that I approve of or don't approve of. Not that it really matters, no one really cares what I think, unless uh, you're here to hear my opinions. And I thank you for that. But otherwise, officially, um, no one cares. No one cares about opinions. We all have opinions. But my opinion here is that if you say something publicly like that, it's not going to have a positive effect. And so if your aim is to get an apology for one thing or another, uh, which it su suggests in this article here, uh, his one aim ostensibly is to get an apology, uh, that he can't seem to see that doing that in private might be more fruitful than doing it in public. And so uh, Mr Quinn here says how he's been asked directly by his father, the king, not to write or say publicly anything further about the family or his brother that might cause trouble. And he says here, everyone knows that when a king asks you to do something or not do something, there are going to be consequences if you don't obey. And quite right too. I mean, if someone in authority asks you not to do something, even if that is sort of an unofficial, could you please not do that anymore? you should take that relatively seriously, particularly if it's family and particularly if your family member is an authority figure of the entire country, um, the king no less. So if the king were to ask you not to do a certain thing um, and it's a member of your family, I would say that that goes without saying. But here we are. Um, this is what's reported um, to these papers by these experts and I think it's all intertwined. Now they seem to come together. You get the upcoming election uh, in the US uh, with Donald Trump saying that he would consider removing Harry or he's hinted that he'd consider removing Harry if he's elected. And then you've got Meghan Markle saying that 
Uh, her main condition of coming back to the UK would be somewhere to stay that they call their own and security to go with it to ensure that they are safe. And at the same time, you've got Prince Harry fighting this uh, lawsuit to... Essentially, he wants to overturn the original decision to... I want to say downgrade, but it's it's not necessarily downgrade. It's remove the default provisions of security and replace it with a bespoke security provision as they see fit, as they go along. And I trust, I would trust that they've made that decision properly. Um, but obviously that is still now for the court to decide because he's uh, challenging that decision. The court may find, it is entirely possible, the court may find that the, they need to go back and reconsider something. But equally, as the judge has already hinted in that case, the judge has said it may well be that everything that the previous judge uh, found was perfectly reasoned, sensible and should stand. And so that is uh, also quite likely the case. And personally, I think that is the case. I think that's what will happen. But we'll wait and see um, when the substantive appeal is heard. We will see what happens with that. I personally think that that will be that and that will be the end of the road for this appeal for Harry. Will that be enough for uh, Meghan's assurance that they have the appropriate security when they come here? Uh, I suspect not based on the articles that I've just read and, and shown to you. So uh, obviously these are available online. You can go and read them in full for yourself to draw your own opinions and your own conclusions. And remembering, of course, that they are just something that is reported to these uh, newspapers from, they say, sources or experts. And so we don't know any of this for certain. A lot of it is speculation, which is why we call it gossip. But uh, I am also free to talk about this sort of stuff as well. Uh, I'm not being discourteous to anybody. I am not outwardly criticising anybody. But I find it all interesting the way that all of this is interconnected, intertwined. And these stories, in fact, are overlapping in nature and have an effect on each other. But now with those headlines side by side, I think you can see that they do have uh, an overlapping nature and one is certainly going to affect the other. So there it is. Those are my thoughts on these recent headlines. Um, as I say, if someone in the comment section is either a graphics expert, of which I am not, and or knows someone that can make a nice intro for me. I did one myself on Black Belt Barrister. I actually even played the piano jingle at the beginning. That is me playing on my piano. Um, it's very, very short. But yeah, open to ideas, open to thoughts. And um, I'll, I'll be back here on Black Belt Secrets uh, more often now. And I would like to do more of these sort of opinion and gossip type videos, which I find quite entertaining. Um, guilty pleasures, if you like, of entertainment, gossip and so on. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what else you've spotted in the headlines that you'd like me to talk about. Make sure you subscribe. Let's keep this channel growing. And uh, I enjoy this channel. Uh, I enjoy both channels, in fact. But uh, certainly I enjoy this one with a bit more free flowing and news and gossip and opinions. So in the meantime, once you hit that subscribe button, I've given you time to do so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.